Wendy Pearson. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Wendy Pearson, who is the undergraduate chair and associate professor of women's studies at Western University. In addition to having an academic interest in John's films, Wendy and John have been colleagues and more importantly, great friends for many years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wendy Pearson. a very beautiful film set in South Africa, and again a film that, as uh, Amethyst has said in relation to both Tar Tarek and John, is a film that deals with issues of justice uh, and equity and all these things. Uh, he's produced over 50 films and videos over the years, uh, thus they've been screened at over 500 international film festivals, and he's won a lot of awards uh, at places like Berlin, Locarno, Johannesburg, San Francisco, Turin, and of course Toronto. He's a recipient of the Triumph Arts Award for Media Art and the 2007 Bell Canada Award, which is the highest national recognition for outstanding lifetime achievement in video art. His beautiful film, Lilies, won four Genie Awards, including the Best Motion Picture Award for 1996. Uh, as you probably know, John is also a professor of film at New York University, where he teaches film and video theory and production. He is much loved as a teacher, and I think uh, you can see that in many, many instances of people's support for him. Uh, all of his colleagues have rallied. Uh, we've had statements from uh, individual colleagues, we've had statements from university associations, and of course we've had a very beautiful video made by his students in which they talk not only about the film and video techniques that he's taught them, but also about the kinds of things he's taught them uh, around the larger world, around our interactions with making the world a better place. Uh, John's students put together a very a short film, it's only two minutes long, uh, following his arrest in Cairo, and I'm sure many of you have seen it. If you haven't, please go to the tarakandjohn.com website uh, and look for the link there because it's definitely worth watching, and it really shows some of the passion that he is able to imbue into his students. His students learn not just, as I say, the techniques of film and video making, but how to work with passion, with commitment, and with courage. These are all John's own qualities that he tries to transmit to others through his teaching and through his activism. His own passion and commitment for social justice and for making the world a better place shines through both in his films and in his teaching, whether it be formal or informal. When my own students decided in 2008 that they wanted to start a film festival at Western, John was one of the first people they thought about asking. Uh, he came that first year. Um, they were interested in his work partly because I had been showing his films in class and they were very interested in the fact that these films spoke to them in very different ways from the more conventional films they used to watching in the cinema. Uh, so, but John's involvement in the festival was very typical of him. He was so generous with his time. He was so visibly pleased to be part of the student-led initiative. And at the same time, he was able to ask students to think both more critically and more creatively, to realize that as his own students say in their video, the best way to say something may also be the funniest. And this is one of John's qualities that perhaps we don't actually get to see in the current circumstances, but John is a very funny man. He's very generous uh, with his time, and he works very hard to make change, but he never fails to see the humor in the situation. He's had a dedication to issues of justice, equality, and change for a long time. Uh, they were demonstrated, for example, in his very first two films, both of which were documentaries. Uh, Manzana, but poor Manzana was about the reconstruction in Nicaragua, and uh, To Pick Is Not To Choose is a film about the conditions of farm workers here in Ontario that was made in the mid-80s, I think in 85. Uh, as I say, so you can see that he is someone who's been working very hard 
had social justice issues for a very long time and was very passionately committed to it. And of course we know that that is what led to his presence in Cairo at the time of his arrest with Tarek. Uh, his passion for creating a more humane and more equitable world was recognized within the film community in Canada in 2011 when he won the Alana Sabonsuman Award for Commitment to Community and Resistance. Uh, and I think that reward speaks volumes to the kind of person that John is uh, and the kinds of things he wants to do in the world and see in the world and to be part of the change that we can make in the world if we try hard enough. So we come together here today to bring some of that same commitment, dedication and passion to the task of getting Egypt to release John Grayson and Tarek Nibani, even if we're not up to the job of being as witty about it as John himself might manage. Thank you.